Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, this is a quick speed run of new requirements traceability features that we're offering in the 13.1 GitLab release that we're very excited about. As you can see, this is a list of our requirements and a requirements management project that I've created just for demonstration purposes. You'll notice something a little bit different. We now have these green arrow um, boxes here that say satisfied on some of our requirements. I'm gonna explain how that works. Now, one of the goals of requirements management is to be able to trace your requirements to tests and then satisfy those requirements through testing. Uh, this is the feature in its infancy, so this is the first iteration of this, and we're super excited about how this works. So within your project, you have your requirements. Uh, some of these you can see are new and are, or are not satisfied, and others you can see are satisfied. In order to implement this or to utilize this, what you do is you go to your CI pipeline configuration file here, which is the GitLab CI.yaml file, and you'll add this new section which is called requirements check. And what this does is this particular snippet sets up a manual job uh, that does not allow failure and it runs a script which effectively passes a, st a string into an artifact file. And that string is basically a all requirements have passed. And then it utilizes a built-in function that we've created that will take that artifacts file and parse it and satisfy all available requirements when this manual job is, is um, kicked off. We have documentation here. Uh, this works with all of the other options within the, the um, CI config file. So it doesn't have to be a manual job and it, doesn't, it can allow failure if you want it to. So you can set this up however you want. Ideally what you're looking for though is to get this string which is star and then passed. And what this is telling us is that all requirements have passed. Now in the future, we hope to expand this so you can have specific requirements pass and specific requirements not pass. But for now, it's sort of an all or nothing situation. So going back to our requirements here, what we would do is we go to our pipelines. We see that I already ran a pipeline here once and it passed. So now I can go back to this pipeline and see that there was this job and I had clicked pass on this job or play, which basically runs the manual job. Now to run this again, we should be able to go back into here in pipelines and say run pipeline, run for master and that's fine, we hit run. Now you'll see that I have a, a sort of a dummy test in here right now to show that this can be run after other tests have run. Right now it's pending and we'll wait for it to complete. This is really exciting for our, our customers who are trying to tie their testing to their requirements. And this shows the, the initial steps we're taking toward that. Uh, it's really gonna be a fantastic opportunity that when your tests can actually satisfy your requirements, you can go to your requirements list and see which tests or which requirements were satisfied by testing. That's a, a major step forward for us in re our requirements management implementation. You'll see that now this is passed um, and we have this manual requirements check. And if you hover over it, it says manual action. So if I just hit play on that and say, okay, those tests have passed, I will go ahead and hit play. You'll see that it kicks off that requirements job that we talked about that was created in the CI YAML config file. This takes a moment to run and when complete, we can go back to our requirements list and see that we should now have a satisfied next to every requirement because this would say that all requirements have been satisfied. While this is running, I just want to take a moment to say that if you have feedback on these issues, we'd love to hear it. Uh, you can always welcome to go out and look for these issues within the public repository of GitLab and, and add your comments and your feedback there. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, you'll see that this is now passed. So if we go back to our requirements list, what we'll see is that everything now is marked satisfied because again, being all or nothing, all requirements have been satisfied. And if I hover over this, I can actually see when it passed, when it was satisfied. So I can tell which pipeline through dates or when was the last time that pipeline was run and how these passed. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us. We're, we'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear ways you can see this being used in your organization. Thank you very much.